Hi, welcome back to another interesting video related to the quantity estimation of a road. For the simplicity, the video is divided into two parts. In this part, I will show you how to draw a formation line of the road, how to calculate the reduced level of the formation line when the road gradient is given, how to plot the long section of the road where you will find the natural surface level and formation line of a road. In part second of this video, I will show you how to find the section depth and quantity of soil filling in the road. Let's get started part one of this lecture. The reduced level of ground was recorded along the center line of a road from the change number 10 to 20. The recorded data is shown in the table. The total length of 300 meter road where data was collected, the reduced level at 30 meter constant horizontal distance was recorded. Take any suitable reduced level of a formation line greater than the given reduced level of natural surface level. The gradient of formation line changes downward gradient 1 in 150 up to the change 14 and then the gradient changes to 1 in 100 downward. After finding the reduced level of formation line, I will show you how to plot the formation line and natural surface level of a road from the given data. Consider the 10 meter width of the road and side slope of banking to ratio 1 where 2 is the horizontal distance and 1 is vertical. Let me show you the procedure how to plot the given reduced level of natural surface level in Excel first. After that we will plot the formation level of each change according to the gradient 1 in 150 up to the 14 change and 1 in 100 downgrade up to the 20 change. Consider a change from 10 to 20 and their corresponding distances. The reduced level of ground at each change 1 in 150 downgrade up to the 14 change and 1 in 100 downgrade to the remaining change. Go to the insert tab in Excel and click on insert scatter. Right click on the graph and select data. Add the graph and give the name of the series long section of the road. Select the X value data and y value of the column and press on ok the graph will be appear that will show you the line section of the road now let me show you the procedure how to find the reduced level of formation line at each change for that you need to give focus on the data from the change 10 to 14 because the gradient from change 10 to 14 is 1 in 150 downgrade the formation level of the change 10 is given that is 107 but how to find out the reduced level of change 11, 12, 13 and 14. For that consider the similarity of triangle that is one down grade in 150 how much there will be down in 30 meter distance. For that consider the similarity of triangle that is equal to height of big triangle divided by base of big triangle that will be equal to height of small triangle divided by base of small triangle. By putting the values 1 divided by 150 is equal to x divided by 30. We need to find out the value of x so by cross multiplication 150 x is equal to 30 x will be equal to 30 divided by 150. Find the value of x so x will be equal to 0.2 down mean that there will be 0.2 unit down in 30 meter. If there is 1 down in 150 similarly you may check it in 60 meter that will be 0.4 unit down in 60 meter horizontal distance. Now we got the conclusion that each preceding point will decrease 0.2 unit from the previous point. So deduct 0.2 from 107 to find the reduced level of change 11. Deduct 0.4 from 107 to find the reduced level of change 12 and 0.6 for change 13 and 0.8 for change 14 to get the reduced level of formation line at each point. Again there is change in gradient from change 14 to 20 that is 1 in 100 downgrade. Follow up the same procedure in this case each preceding point will decrease 0.3 unit from the previous. So deduct 0.3 from the reduced level of change 14 to get the reduced level of change 15. 0.6 from the change 15 to get the reduced level of change 16 and so on. As we have already plotted the natural surface level of the road for the formation level, right click on the graph and click on select data. Give the series name formation level. Select the x value of the data that is horizontal distance and click on OK. 
Select the y axis value of the data. Here is the combined group of natural surface level and formation level. Thanks for watching. For more information and interesting topics related to civil engineering, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon.